Okay, so I was chatting to Duncan from Composure X and he was giving me some tips on compositing a kind of DJ setup and I was like, uh, but like I'm trying to get the colours the same, the colours are just not looking the same at all, they just don't match. And he said, oh, why don't you just use the Off World Live toolkit to, to stream the texture target into Composure and then mask it off? And it's like, I work for Off World Live and I didn't even know you could do that. So um, I basically want to share this amazing workflow for getting beautiful, beautiful results out of Composure exactly as intended. I think this is pretty new. I don't know how many other people know about this, but massive shout out and thank you, Duncan, for showing me this. Yeah, I think um, a few of you people using Off World could really benefit from this. So let's jump into it. Yo, what's up? You're tuned into the face of Hardcore Rick back here again in the studio and now we're going to be looking at compositing using Unreal's plugin Composure. So whether you're a complete noob in filmmaking or you're well into your films and you're a virtual production pro, you've probably seen or understand what compositing is. Uh, it's an awesome process of really getting the best out of your CG elements and your real life elements by layering them together, adding finishing touches and colour grading different layers separately. And this is usually a industry standard, super expensive thing to achieve. You have to use Nuke or other paid softwares, which can be thousands of pounds a month. So Unreal have come out with their compositing solution, Composure, which aims to be a free way to achieve kind of similar results. I figured, you know, have the money, why not? And do your compositing in a virtual production environment in real time. Uh, if you're just looking at creating some imagery where you're a 3D render on top of a real life scene, on top of a real life setting, or vice versa, real life people in 3D settings for DJing, for films, can be awesome for if you're a band and you want to be playing your gig while there's 3d elements going on around you so as i say this is normally mad expensive another serious benefit of this is the whole anti-aliasing issue if you've ever tried to just drag a media plate as a plane into unreal you might notice that it comes out just terrible quality and this is because your media is going through the same anti-aliasing that all your cgi is because it is just a cgi plane in the 3d space composure gets around this by rendering out all your cg at at one pass with all your nice anti-aliasing and stuff and then leaving your media plates to be just represented as they're supposed to be so this is a way to get way better results with your real life elements in your 3d scenes but i'm going to reveal a new workflow for composure using the off world live live streaming toolkit that's been put together by an old school virtual production pro composure can be tricky to work with unreal does mention that to get the best results out of it you need the help of third party plugins and softwares now one such plugin to help you get amazing cinematic quality is the Off World Live Toolkit. Check out these two images. These are both made with Composure. So as you can see, Composure kind of struggles to get your colors right and things in its normal workflow. But with the Off World Live Toolkit and this new method for using Composure, we can get our scenes looking exactly as intended. Uh, as you can see, like regular Composure workflow, the colors don't really match. The materials, the reflections aren't as good. They're not matching. There's no depth, sense of depth of field. As you get into the darker areas of the scene, the kind of gradation of the shadows isn't quite right. There's no bloom. There's no lens flares. Your emissive materials aren't like reflecting onto the rest of the scene. There might be ways to kind of replicate this and copy this out, but it's so much extra work to get the required results that you're after. With this off-world live workflow, we are literally just pumping the image as intended right through Composure. So usually when you generate a camera in uh, Composure, it'd be making a viewport capture 2D, which is essentially used for making mirrors in games and it will take on what your viewport is looking at and it will render out a flat image based off of it. So that's what Composure is generally using to make the elements flat and composite them as any other kind of video editor would. But the thing about these viewport capture 2Ds is they don't take on all the bloom, all the focus pools, all the amazing camera settings that come from a cine cam because the off-world live camera is rendering exactly what's on screen and turning it into a flat texture target. So that is the amazing thing about using this camera. It makes it so much easier to use composure and I just wanted to make note of that. Maximum power, maximum, maximum, maximum. 
Here's how your composure might look with a regular kind of workflow. What you would do is create a CG element and that CG element would take on the position and location of a camera uh, using this scene capture component 2D. And that is essentially this camera. It's not an off-world camera. It's just in my example, it's taking on the location of my off-world camera. But this is why you're not getting the same results because it's just a scene capture 2D. So what we usually do is create a CG element, pick out your elements like your frog and stuff, layer that onto your background element and layer that onto your CG backdrop and the transform pass would look something like this. For the off-world workflow, we're bypassing the whole thing of creating this scene capture 2D. We're actually just literally feeding in the render target input from the off-world camera. So that is why we're getting the exact image as intended. So we're just feeding in a flat image. So in order to mask out elements and things, what we're doing is just creating another regular composite element and creating a mask over the top. And that is what we will then be using to capture our actors. So you can do the same CG capture actor workflow, but just use a mat or a mask to mask one element over the other. And there we get the result. Really similar masking masks wise, looks almost exactly the same, but we've obviously got those amazing colors and everything. All the bloom and effects are coming through as intended. So the transform pass for this looks, looks pretty similar to transform pass for the other one, just using two over nodes, but we are just using the mask to layer off the render target over the other. Okay, that was a little bit of a rant about that new workflow because I'm just really excited about this and excited to share it. Let's go into actually what we're going to learn in the next few videos and how we achieve this workflow. So first off, we're going to learn how to just kind of navigate composure how it works with layers and layer elements then we're going to learn the meat of composure which is transform passes and how to utilize those to layer up your elements and create your composites then we're going to learn about mats which are masks with knowledge of masks we can really control what elements are shown through above what other elements then we're going to learn some color management using ocio that's going to be key for matching your color spaces between what your camera's picking up and what unreal is picking up then we're going to look at green screening out your real life element and situating that in the scene then finally we're just going to have a party and make a stream with what we've got so if you're totally new to composure and you need to learn it from scratch this is the tutorial set for you or if you already have some skills in composure but you're looking at picking up this new technique then this is going to be super helpful for you tune in for these tutorials i'm really excited to share this